Welcome back. On this tutorial, I will show you how you can configure login to the GitHub with SSH key on your Windows machine. So first, we need to generate SSH key. To generate SSH key, we can use PowerShell, just to launch PowerShell and type command ssh-keygen. And by default, it will save it in the correct folder with correct name. It will save it in C users, your username, .ssh and the file name will be id rsa this is for the private key just hit enter no any passwords don't enter enter that's all it's done let's go to this folder and see what uh, we can just you know we can do and just make it here so this is what we have in this folder ju just generated this is the private key don't tell it to anyone don't give it to anyone this is a public key we just need to copy content of this file and add it into the github get idrsa.pub this is our public key just copy it go to the github go to the settings go to the ssh and gpg key and just ssh key add the key let's say my windows paste it here it's authentication key add ssh key done it's added here nice you can add more keys, one from Linux, one for Windows, or just use one key everywhere. This is done. Now we just need to update the URL of remote repository. Uh, going here from HTTP, we're going to update it to uh, this one, SSH. So I just copied this one. This is my Windows. Let's execute git remote-v. So right now it's HTTPS. Let's change it, git remote set url origin and my ssh get remote okay it's updated that's all now we can update any files here and we'll push them without any ask for username and for the token so let's do it git status no any changes okay let's make some changes notepad file text. okay i have notepad let's edit here testing again from windows using ssh and let me dot here okay it looks good let's save it git status git commit not git add i can just execute git commit instead of git add and git commit so basically it's git commit dash a add and message m for message yeah testing testing that, that, that's all git push and will not ask you for nothing it will for the first time just only for the first time it'll tell you i do you agree like to communicate with the server using this ssh key yes it's just for the one one time you see permanently added github into the list of known cost done you here just refresh this page you see here our testing this is our testing that's all and it worked let's make another small change so you will see that will not ask you anymore for this one never so let's make notepad new test yeah it's enough like just one line git status okay git commit minus dash i am test two oops and git push it will not ask you for nothing right now just will work smooth and, and fine that's all it pushed everything from your local repository to remote repository so here you should see new test this is just pushed right now and this is what we just pushed and some recap what we did today. So on your Windows computer, you generate an SSH, SSH key using ssh keygen command. It's saved in your home folder. For example, C users, your username dot SSH. Here's two files generated. This one is your public key, with the content of which you need to upload to the GitHub. Basically on GitHub, you go into your account settings, SSH, GPG key, add key, and just copy paste the content of this file here click add ssh key and you done 
if you are using HTTPS URL of remote repository, something like this, which is starting basically with HTTPS. So you need to set token in GitHub, generate token in GitHub and login using GitHub username and this token. But if you're using SSH, which is highly recommended and much more secure of remote repository, URL will be like this. And you need to set SSH public key in the GitHub and login using your private SSH key on your computer. And commands which we use today, sshk gain, git remote set url region, git remote dash v, git status, git, git add, git commit dash m, and git push. Okay, hope you enjoy it. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.